Hi, my name is Arash Aga Mohammadi Sureshki. I'm a postdoctoral associate in the Department of Radiology at the University of Calgary. I'm also part of the CNP's scholar program. Today, I'm going to be talking about my research project, which is about the effects of prenatal alcohol exposure on the limbic and the prefrontal structures and the neurobehavioral development. Prenatal alcohol exposure or PAE can have widespread effects on brain, mental health, cognition, and behavior. Limbic and prefrontal structures are involved in emotional and cognitive related functions, including those impaired by PAE. However, it has not been well defined how alcohol related limbic and prefrontal structural changes mediate cognitive and behavioral deficits. A thorough understanding of how these structural alterations underlie the neurobehavioral deficit induced by PAE is critical for earlier detection of individuals with PAE in order to achieve more effective intervention. Therefore, this project was conceptualized with two major goals. First, to investigate effects of PAE on the macro and macro structural metrics of the pre-general anterior cingulate cortex, anterior mid-cingulate cortex, cingulum bundle, amygdala subnuclei, and bite matter tracts of medial orbitofrontal cortex, lateral orbitofrontal cortex, medial prefrontal cortex, and dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Second, to assess the association between macro and macro structural metrics of the aforementioned structures with emotional, behavioral, and cognitive functioning quantified by different behavioral, emotional, and cognitive tests. For this project, 31 children and adolescents with PKE and 54 unexposed controls were recruited. Macro and macro structural metrics were obtained using manual segmentation and tractography method to delineate pregenial anterior cingulate cortex, anterior mid cingulate cortex, cingulum bundle, which was divided into rostral cingulum, dorsal cingulum, and parahippocampal cingulum, amygdala subnuclei, including lateral, basal, and accessory basal nuclei, as well as centromedial and cortical groups. And for the medial and for the prefrontal cortex, we delineated the tracts for medial or prefrontal cortex, tracts of lateral or prefrontal cortex, tracts of medial prefrontal cortex, and the tract of dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. This project is an ongoing project, but so far we have found significantly a smaller right pregenual anterior cingulate cortex and more behavioral and emotional problems in individuals with PAE compared to typically developing controls. Also, we found different associations between cingulate volumes with behavioral and emotional problems in PAE and control groups suggesting deviation from the normal neurobehavioral development of the cingulate cortex in individuals with PAE. I will contribute to open science by publicizing our results and studies through conferences and open access preprint repositories for biological studies prior to submitting them to open access peer review journals. Also, neuroimaging data for the unexposed control group is publicly available on picture as you see here. Data on the PA group is available on request from Dr. Level. Also, Dr. Level creates a lay summary and infographic of this project on her lab beta, and the findings of this project will be shared on the Dr. Level's Twitter account. In order to raise public awareness about prenatal alcohol exposure and psychiatric disorders, we propose to share our findings through CIMP's newsletter, media, web portal, after publishing them in open access peer review journals. I would like to thank all researchers who have helped me to do this project. My primary supervisor, Dr. Bruce Pike, my co-supervisor, Dr. Kathleen Lovell, and other collaborators, Dr. Bryce Girard and Tiffany Naki. Also, I would like to thank COMP for funding me and providing me this opportunity to do this research.
I would like to thank you for taking the time to pay attention to this project. And if you have any questions regarding this project, please contact me uh, using one of these two email addresses. Thank you so much.